And now it's time for church chat. Welcome, friends. It's a great joy to welcome you to another edition of Church Chat. I'm here with Lori Robertson, and Lori uh, remains uh, one of the busiest people at St. John's, uh, an intrepid leader of Christian education opportunities and uh, always looking for more. Uh, and we've got a couple of upcoming Christian education opportunities uh, that Lori's going to tell you a little bit about. Thanks, Jesse. So um, for those of you who um, uh, are perhaps not aware, we're just about to finish uh, an eight-week study on it called The Wayfinding Bible. And so Father Jesse and I have been looking for something to continue on with, and he has suggested the new N.T. Wright book uh, called God and the Pandemic. And it's a very short book. You can get it on Audible or, or um, in any other um, listen format, or you can get it on Amazon. It's about $15. And uh, we were planning to have just a two-week review of that book in late September. Um, after that, though, we'd like to return to the Bible. And we've got some ideas for a bit longer format, a, a Bible study where we go through the Bible in more depth. Um, again, start to finish like the Wayfinding Bible has been, but I, uh, the, the study we're looking at is 26 weeks, I think. Uh, so more information is going to be coming out on that. You'll see an email from us shortly with more information on both of those studies. And um, as always, uh, we look forward to anyone anywhere in the world joining us with this. That's welcome to all and it's suitable for everyone. Um, the studies we do are suitable for anyone who can read, young and old. And we have a lot of good fellowship in our study times. They're usually these days held on Wednesday mornings at 11 um, Eastern time. And we take one hour to get together on Zoom and, and just have a conversation about what we have read. So, you know, no verse by verse expositions of anything, but what did you read? What struck you? What is important to our lives at this moment? And uh, that way we can really take into our hearts some of what the Lord is wishing to show to us through the readings. So I do hope you can join me. And as I said, watch for uh, emails and links to these things in the very near future. Thank you. Wonderful, Laurie, and thank you for all the wonderful work that you're doing. I can tell you, uh, if you haven't participated in these uh, conversations before, uh, they are rarely uh, dull and dusty. This is this is not your 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 grandpa's Bible study or whatever uh, idea you might have about this. We're getting into really relevant conversations about where God is in our lives right now, and really seeing how the scriptures. I've experienced this. Uh, and I know you have as well, Lori, how the scriptures really come alive mm -hmm. uh, and show themselves to be uh, 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 God's living word for us and how the Holy Spirit is active through the scriptures in our lives uh, today. <laughs> and that's a wonderful thing to behold. So uh, do join us. Well, a couple of other things to talk about here. Uh, we are gathering together for worship uh, again. Thanks be to God, uh, beginning on September the 13th, and you will have seen some of the messaging that's already come out from St. John. Uh, and also there's some messaging from the wider diocese. Uh, there's gonna be a link in the video description to a video that was recently published by the diocese with a greeting from Bishop Andrew Asbel, followed by uh, Joanne Davies, the Reverend Canon Joanne Davies, who is a healthcare chaplain in the Bayview Health Sciences uh, System who has also been leading pandemic response for the diocese and examining some of the guidelines and protocols under which we will be worshiping uh, safely together. Do take the time to watch this video. It's gonna give you a sense, uh, and in some senses, uh, I think a sobering sense of what you can expect uh, in church when, uh, when you return, but also hopefully give you a sense of safety, that these pandemic precautions are things that we are taking absolutely seriously and that they are being done with the best advice that we have received from public health officials and government and others to uh, tell us exactly uh, how we can safely gather together again. So do check out that video again in the video link, uh, video description below. And also there's a link in the weekly email if you receive that from us. Also online uh, and perhaps in paper copies that, that people have received, take a look at this September issue, this, this newest issue of the Anglican. You're gonna see that 
a person very dear to my heart is uh, the cover girl for this. Uh, Grace is uh, right out in front of the rectory uh, where we had our chain of gratitude. And there's a lovely picture of her on, on the front cover. Uh, and that's enough bragging about that. Inside the Anglican, you're going to find a truly wonderful interview uh, feature on Penny Nut Brown, our uh, Sunday school teacher and children's ministry superintendent. It's just a wonderful thing. Uh, and, and you can get to know Penny uh, a little bit better if you, if you, if, uh, you want to hear some parts of her story of faith and the story of her life. So do check that out. Wonderful uh, issue of the Anglican for St. John's and our ministries. Speaking of Penny, one of the most precious and important parts of our ministry at St. John's is our ministry to children. And Penny has been such a, an amazing blessing in carrying that out. Um, I'm delighted to announce that we will be having an outdoor Sunday school program that will uh, commence on October the 4th, Sunday, October 4th at 9.30 a.m. Uh, we are committed to making this a safe environment for all of the young people in our midst and certainly uh, Penny's long involvement uh, in educating young people is uh, a great benefit to our parish at all times, but especially under these circumstances. So October 4th at 9.30 a.m., there will be an outdoor Sunday school program beginning uh, for the children. I think that's all. That's a lot. Uh, so we're going to leave it at that. Yeah, well, my friends, God bless you, and thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you again in this space before long. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.